Well, somebody else who has been airing the uh, the same uh, sentiments is Jason Felinski, who's the federal member uh, for McKellar on the Northern Beaches. Morning, Jason. Hi, how are you guys? Good, yeah. So we, we, uh, you only just joined us at the latter stages of that conversation, but give us the, your pitch for relaxing lockdown in the Northern Beaches. Um, mate, it's not just about the Northern Beaches. It's about anywhere where you have no community transmissions, where you have... Um, very few exposure sites where essentially the virus is not something that um, is in the community anywhere. This is about basically suppressing the virus, not suppressing people. Mm. So where you don't have that risk calculus, where you don't have a lot of people um, testing positive, then you should um, aim towards uh, maximising the freedom of everyone rather than suppressing the freedom of everyone, Mm -hmm. especially when the, the numbers just don't add up. And the Northern Beaches was mentioned there, but uh, which other uh, LGA would you include oh, in that? Wendy, that is a fantastic question. And the answer is um, Illawarra, Central Coast, Blue Mountains, most of the North Shore, most of the northwest of Sydney, even parts of the eastern suburbs haven't had positive uh, community transmission for the last two weeks. This is, this is a lot of people in Sydney. I mean, one of the reasons that Christmas New Year worked, and uh, Wendy, I don't need to tell you, mm-hmm. it was hard for a lot of people. But it was localised and it meant that the, 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 the suffering of a lockdown, especially over that period when people are meant to be together, not apart, was localised to an area where you'd had um, an outbreak. I guess so. Epidemiologists would say this is a, a different variant to what we saw uh, in that lockdown. And we are looking at two to three days sometimes to get uh, result, results back from testing at the moment because there's such a, a huge demand on it. And we know that this virus can travel across a city like that. You know, it's, it, it, it takes one person to... Uh, to be infected, infectious for it to seed elsewhere. I mean, the whole idea, of course, of having a, a major Greater Sydney lockdown as we're in is to stop movement. Mm. So that's an argument for locking down everyone forever. No, it's not. Yes, it, it is. No, it's not. Because what you're saying is one person can spread this disease to all parts of the country without anyone knowing for three or four so days. So what, 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 what are you, suge- case, what are you suggesting? Case, no, hang on, hang on, hang yeah. on. So in which case, come out and make the argument that we should all be locked down all the time, no, I'm not. forever. No, now, nobody's AMA, making that now, argument. AMA, nobody is making that AMA, argument at all. Now, the AMA... Uh, the Jason, AMA Jason that, excuse me, with respect, nobody is making that argument at all. The AMA is. No, they're not. They said that the lockdown will be indefinite. <sighs> OK, all right. So what would you like to see happen? Well, I think what has been happening. So where you have outbreaks, you localise it as much as you possibly can. You then give the contact traces the capacity to get on top of it. You isolate the virus and isolate where the outbreak is, get it under control, um, and then, uh, you know, uh, bring back freedom, essentially, and allow people to get on with their lives. And we're talking about not just businesses. We're talking about people being able to you know, um, see their families, children going to school, um, people being together, um, you know, society as it's meant to be. Mm. What do you think, uh, oh, we're with Jason Polinski, the federal MP for McKellar, what do you think about these uh, latest rules, uh, the lockdown of construction and so forth? Do you think that the New South Wales Premier should have gone um, harder and faster or, or what are your thoughts? Um, well, I don't have all the, the, the data in terms of building sites in front of me. Yeah, I understand that there, ha- there has been some uh, transmission with people working on building sites differently, but I also understand that no, that there has been... Um, well, New South Wales ha- Health has confirmed that there's never been a case um, transmitted outside. Mm-hmm. So um, I think where it was uh, the capacity for people to continue building... Um, while they're in pretty open environments, that that is something that could be looked at. But I understand that at the moment we've got spot fires everywhere and we're just trying to isolate the virus as much as we possibly can and and the health officials came to that um, that consideration. What I would say is that once we get to the point where we've got on top of it, that's actually the point where we should, you know, let everyone get back to building. Okay. Well, you do have some support this morning, uh, Jason, from the Central Coast and Hornsby says that we're COVID-free here as uh, as well. So uh, let's just think what our wider audience around Sydney um, uh, thinks. Well, see what they think of all this. Well, thanks for joining us today. I really appreciate the time. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Jason.
Well, what do we think? Uh, Jason Falinski there, Federal MP for McKellar. Not only Northern Beaches, apparently, but um, other uh, parts of Sydney that are COVID-free.